Well, hello there, sweetheart. I hope you had a wonderful day. I am so looking forward to reading this book to you today. It's called There Might Be Lobsters. And look at that sweet puppy and monkey on the front cover. This little girl looks like she's going into the ocean. I thought it'd be fun to read a book about lobsters today. Look, there's a picture of lobsters playing with the ball. Oh, and look at the puppy. I wonder if she's part of the story. She's on the cover. Let's read it. It says lots of things at the beach scared Suki. Lots. <gasps> look, and there they are. It says there might be lobsters by Caroline Crimmy. Look, and illustrated by Laurel Mulk. <laughs> look at her. She's waving at her puppy. Let's see what it says. Come on, Suki. You can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs up to the beach and waved at Suki. Look, there's their beach bag. She's ready to go. Oh, looky there. But Suki was just a small dog, and the stairs were big and sandy, and she hadn't had lunch yet, and her foot hurt a little, and she might get a shell stuck up her nose, and she might tumble down on her head, and then she'd need stitches. And besides, there might be lobsters. Look at that lobster. It's got doggy treats. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunk by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them up and she tissed and huffed and carried them down the stairs. Looky there, there's a bird with a Frenchie fry. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor as she tossed the beach ball Suki's way. Look, she's tossing the ball. Suki is running from the ball. But looky there, what is that? There are feet in the ocean. <clears throat> Look at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and the beach ball was big and beachy, and it might hit her nose, and then it would pop, and it might be too loud, or it might knock her down, and she might never get up again, and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. Look at this lobster playing with the beach ball. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamuck by her side. Look at Chunkamuck hanging out with Suki. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped. That pup up and said, tisk, and huffed and cradled her in her arms. <laughs> Look at Suki and Chunkamuck. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the water's edge. She splashed a little water at Suki. Oh, but Suki was just a small dog and those waves were big and they were whooshy and they were salty and they were too wet and they might toss her out in the middle of the sea and she might even flew all the way to even Florida. She might be swallowed by a whale and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamuck by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves. And there goes Eleanor into the water. Ooh, look at this beautiful ocean beach scene. Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing, big boys running to the umbrellas, flapping, and lifeguards blowing loud whistles, and waves splish-splashing with Chunkamunk. Look, there she is. Oh, no, look at that lady. She fell off. Oh, and look at Eleanor. She's enjoying her time at the ocean. And there they are, Suki and Chunkamunk, watching the waves. <gasps> oh, no! Floating out to sea, Suki barked for Chunkamunk to come back. But Chunkamunk started to sink. Look. Suki started to paddle. <laughs> Suki paddled fast past the beach ball and through a huge salty wave and over something that might even be lobsters. Until Chunkamunk was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunk was smaller. 
Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. I knew you could do it. Look at her loving on her puppy. She picked them both up with a yay and hooray and swung them around gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy beach with wavy waves and watched the lobsters with Chunkamunk by her side. Look, there she is with Chunkamunk. And look at all the dogs. And look at this seagull eating dog treats. And this dog knocked him over. And look, the seagull took his hat. And there goes his french fries and his burgers. Aw. And there, look, that seagull took the burger. <laughs> and there she is building little sand creatures. I'm not sure what they are. And they didn't see one all day. So they didn't see a single lobster all day. How exciting. And look at their bag. It has a lobster on it. And with that, sweetheart, I hope you have a wonderful night. Get some sleep. Sleep tight. And remember that Nani loves you. Good night.